Right, I don't know, Mike. Right, you're always picking up last minute. Son, next right out. It's nuts, I wanted to be working out for you guys, but I decided not to. Because <laughs> I don't feel like it. But, I've got some money to give away. But you have to work for it though. You have to be 100 plus ups. Yeah? Try and reach 100. Or, you eat 100 burpees. Whoever wins, get a 500. 38, 39, 40. 41! 41! 41! Yeah, I just beat myself. My stamina was down. But this time I'm ready for work. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not out of the blue, there's no gray area. I'm tickled pink. I want to see the white rhino, Lucas Brown. So black out your calendar for Saturday, because if you miss it, you're going to be green with envy. Here to introduce you to the fighters and to tell you all about it, the man that put it together, the president of Matchroom Boxing, Mr. Eddie Hearn. Mr. Ranowski, I won't take a pop at your first name, but um, I'm going to ask a question by the translator now. A big opportunity for you. Tell us how you're feeling ahead of Saturday night. Hello, everyone. I would uh, like to thank uh, the organizer, Eddie Hearn, for fighting. Thank you, Josh Kelly, for accepting the challenge. I hope it will be a great fight. I'm uh, hard work for three months. I'm ready for 10 rounds. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you what. Thank you for your translation. Um, <laughs> lads, if you could sort of refund out from there, uh, that'd, be, that'd be blinding. I visualized this fight many times in my head. I fought in my head again, 10 times against Shizura. Nine times I won, one time I got disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> what, can I ask you, Sinan, what, what did you get disqualified for? I beat too hard when he was on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man, I'm motivated. Um, you know, I don't travel like 
three hours in the train every every four days because I'm not motivated. Uh, I I want to fight. You know, I always say that I love fighting. You know, if he comes to fight, man, we'll fight. Yeah, there's nothing bad to say about Dave Allen. He's a, he's a lovely guy. Um, handshakes, all that sort of stuff. But as soon as the bell goes, we're gonna punch the shit out of each other. I can honestly sit here and I want to say I'm willing. I'm willing to to take whatever. You don't have to render me unconscious to beat me. Because if not, I'm not really bothered really. Why? You can punch my face all day if you want, but I ain't going anywhere right? unless he knocks me out. He can only be if he knocks me out. You think right, he goes 12 rounds? Nah, no chance. That'll be time, like, ding ding, we're on now. Yeah, well, like, when I when I walk to the ring, I'm in the way into the ring, goes looks around, touch his glove, go into my corner, they will announce us, then we face up for the fight, that's it. I'm ready to fight. It's like um, anything, in, like any other fight I've ever had. I'm, I don't have any hard feelings, and I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not fueled by aggression or hatred. I'm, I'm fueled by my desire to to fight more than to win. It's a fight. Considering that you don't really do much this week, for him to keep it around 17 or suppose at 76, it um, shows he's he's been eating well.
about being quick look even even if you right it's not if the game plan's not working all right say for instance you think he's fading right he's not as strong as i thought i can i can plow forward if you're gonna do that i still want you moving your head a million miles per hour i want you doing it quickly and when you're doing it when he throws them lazy shots you come back with the counter it's so important now not just to walk forward and take them on the gloves do you know what I mean? Even if it's working, I don't. You don't need to be doing that. Just yeah. still move your head, rolling under the little rolls, the slip, coming back with your shots. I'm telling you now, I've told you. If you if you do this, you can you can look a million dollars and make a massive statement. It's just about being switched on. I'm going to be screaming it from ringside. Screaming, it, stay switched on, stay switched on. Good time now, mate. And you got the changing room. Yeah, I know. That does help. <laughs> does help. Open. And Wi Fi. I'm ready. You're ready, good. I'm ready, man. Good. And remember, you're fit enough. You're fit enough yeah, to go yeah, through the gears. Yeah. Two shots, three shots, four shots. Bang, 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 go through the gears. Because otherwise, it's an injustice all the hard work you put in. What's the point in training so hard? Mm. Well, just to be able to hear the final bell. You've got to take him into places he do not want to go. Remember, he's an old man, he's got old legs. He's going to, you know, he can't live with your pace. Go through the gears. Speed, 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 speed. Voila, job done. Cut. Cut. Ladies and gentlemen, from the O2 Arena, it's time for the chief support of the evening, and it's time for the heavyweights. Please welcome the fighters as they enter the ring. Now, making his way to the red corner from Scudra, Albania, Sinan Yoshinga. promises lightly Lyrics. and there have been some that I have broken but I swear in the days still left we will walk into the O2 as the main event and not the fuck out of Lucas Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Cummins known as the Doncaster de la Hoya, aka the White Rhino, introducing 
the popular, the hard-hitting, the people's champion, Dazzling David! Enjoy your five guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Because I heard you said you were hungry. 